cool, Nick. Got it. I, I identifying the goals are important. How do I go about doing that? Like literally, I want you to walk me through this. How do I do this? Right? Talk to me like I'm a German shepherd. Okay. Here's my recommendation on how to identify that. Because a lot of people say, man, I got the motivation. I got the work ethic. I just don't know what direction to go in. I'm stuck. Okay. Here's what I recommend. Course action number one. There's only two. The first one is to just sit with yourself and think and listen. Go into a dark room, lay on the floor, go sit in the park bench, wherever you can find yourself to be at the most peaceful point. Sit there and listen. Ask yourself, what do I want to do? Who do I want to become? Pay attention. Be honest with yourself. What, what are you telling yourself? What is your soul telling you you want to do? Who you're supposed to be, right? That's the, that's the first recommendation I have. Again, it may not happen overnight. You may go do that tonight and be sitting there for three hours. And like, I got nothing. A lot of times that dream, that mission, it, it whispers to you, right? It's, it doesn't come screaming in your face, boom, right? It kind of sneaks up behind you. It kind of whispers in your ear. You really got to listen and pay attention. But hey, eventually you got to get moving, right? Eventually you got to get moving. So, you know, day after day, week after week, month after month, you're like, dude, I'm, I'm sitting in this dark room by myself and I'm listening. I'm not hearing shit. Like what, how much longer am I supposed to do this? That's a fair question. Brings you to course session number two, okay? And that is to identify your talents and pursue that. We talk about talent in the most basic sense. This can get real scientific real quick, something I really enjoy doing, thinking and, 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 and learning. But in, in basic form, talent you're born with, skill you earn. Right? Talent comes from us genetically to a degree. Okay? Talent are the things that we are best with with the least amount of effort. That's talent. Skill is gained through hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of grinding on a particular craft. Two different things, both important. We talk about talent, we talk about the things you do best with the least amount of effort. Identify what that is or what those things are and begin to pursue that. That recommended course of action is actually what most coaches, life coaches, influences, whatever, that's the route that most will recommend taking from the very beginning. And it's not wrong because that does drastically increase the likelihood of your success, which is kind of makes sense. You think about it, you say, yeah, if I do this the best, with the least amount of effort, how great at this will I be when I actually dedicate myself to honing in a skill on top of a talent? That's how you become really great at stuff. That's how you become successful at stuff, right? You do, you need to be really good at it. The reason why I don't like that as my first course action is because I'm stubborn. I'll be, I'll just be flat out honest with you guys. It's because I'm stubborn. It's because I don't like being dictated the direction I go in, even if I'm the one that's dictating it based on my talents, if that makes any kind of sense, right? So I do enjoy Course action one being just to have that conversation with yourself repeatedly if necessary to determine what you want to do. Because who's to say, this is what I want to do, even though I'm terrible at it, or even though I don't even know how to do it. Who's to say that that can't be what you do? Well, nobody, right? Knowing that if we follow the routes of our talents, that does increase the likelihood of overall success, All right? So those are the two course of action that I recommend when we talk about how to identify what these talents or what these what this goal really is.